NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has discovered an eighth planet in a distant star system called Kepler 90 The first time a faraway star has been found to have the same number of planets orbiting it as our own Sun Although the Kepler 90 solar system is not new, the eighth planet, Kepler 90i, is, after it was found using AI software in a groundbreaking project between Google and NASA the discovery of a system similar to our own raises hopes of finding alien life elsewhere in the universe. The Kepler-90 planets have a similar configuration to our solar system, with small planets orbiting close to their star and the larger planets found farther away. According to NASA, this confirms for the first time that distant star systems can be home to families as large as our own. The new planet, estimated to be about 30% larger than Earth, is not a place you'd like to visit, said Andrew Vanderberg, astronomer and NASA Sagan postdoctoral fellow at the University of Texas, Austin. It is probably rocky and doesn't have a thick atmosphere. And temperatures at the surface are scorching. According to Vanderberg, the average surface temperature is likely around 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The Kepler Planet Hunting Satellite has been searching the stars for distant worlds using Google's AI system, which used machine learning to find planets in the Kepler data with up to 96% accuracy. Neural networks can be trained on huge amounts of data to determine the difference between different objects with great accuracy, the team explained in the teleconference. Much like an AI can learn to spot the difference between cats and dogs, it can spot the difference between patterns associated with planets and other types of patterns in the cosmos that could be false positives. He worked on the system as part of his 20% time at the company, where employees are allowed to work on anything they want. We used our model to identify two new planets from a set of 670 stars, shall you explain? How AI spotted Kepler 90i, the measured brightness of a star decreases ever so slightly when an orbiting planet blocks some of the light. The new planet orbits its star once every 14.4 days. But all of the planets in the system tightly orbit their star, which is thought to be cooler than our own Sun, meaning their orbital periods are relatively short. Before the latest AI guided results, Kepler 90 was tied with Trappist 1, with seven planets each, says Jesse Dotson, Kepler project scientist at NASA's Ames Research Center in California's Silicon Valley. We get lots of false positives of planets, but also potentially more real planets, Vanderberg said. It's like sifting through rocks to find jewels. If you have a finer sieve, then you will catch more rocks, but you might catch more jewels as well. The latest discovery is not just a planet candidate. According to NASA, the latest exoplanet has been confirmed to be almost certainly an exoplanet with 1 in 10,000 false positive probability. While the discovery is exciting, this particular system isn't the most promising for the possibility of hosting life. The other newly discovered planet, Kepler 80 grams, is now known to be the sixth in the system. It's roughly the size of Earth, and its four neighboring planets form a resonant chain, which locks the planets into a rhythmic orbital dance that likely stabilizes the system. Further studies have been able to detect some of these planets' atmospheres, and the Google AI have been used to look through this data to find potentially habitable worlds. Launched in 2009, the satellite has helped in the search for planets outside of the solar system that orbit within the habitable zone of their stars.
In the spacecraft's extended mission in 2013, it lost its ability to precisely stare at its original target area, but a fix created a second life for the telescope. After the fix, Kepler started its K2 mission in 2014, which has provided an ecliptic field of view with greater opportunities for Earth-based observatories in both the northern and southern hemispheres. Because it covers more of the sky, the K2 mission is capable of observing a larger fraction of cooler, smaller red dwarf-type stars, 